folks, this is Vincent Adderley with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to try Nut Hunt, a game of territorial squirrels. This game supports 1 to 5 players, it's for ages 10 and up, and the average playtime is 30 minutes. And yes, there is a solo mode in the rulebook should you want to play against an AI opponent. Uh, this will be our first time playing the game, so we might get a rule wrong or two, but as we always say, we are more interested in spreading awareness, but we do our best to get all the rules right. Speaking of rules, the rule book is roughly 11 to 12 pages, but um, frequently asked questions on the back and the solo mode takes up like two pages. So in actuality, the rules for the core game are roughly nine, eight pages, something like that. Your goal of this game is to score victory points. And this game seems to borrow a lot of mechanics from very common games that we know and love. Settlers of Catan, Ticket to Ride. There's a lot of I'm noticing a lot of similarities in the way this game behaves. Uh, here's a quick look at the box insert. These are the things that we're not using. This baggie uh, is not used during the game, but it's here in case you want to store your stuff, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, this is the box insert here, and these are the other two player pieces that we're not using, the white and the... Oh, there's a blue. I didn't know there was a blue. <laughs> well, it's all right. I'll pick yellow anyway. I like blue. Anyway, so <laughs> why is it similar to Ticket to Ride in Catan? Well, first of all, players will be dealt three of these objective cards. And we've already done this off camera. We're going to pick two of them. And we're trying to form a path from one to the other. These locations, or these cards, will list two different locations. And we're trying to create a path from one to the other using a chain of squirrels and at least one of these nests that we'll be putting on the table. So like in Ticket to Ride, we get these like city cards that we try and connect with trains. Here we're trying to connect two locations with squirrels. So it's a little similar in that respect. There's also Settlers of Catan uh, in the sense that there are different resource cards that we'll be getting. And Settlers of Catan, there's like wood and stone and uh, clay and whatever else. In this game, we've got pecans, walnuts, acorns, and chestnuts. And we'll be earning those resources throughout the game and then spending them in order to recruit more squirrels out onto the onto the tableau, okay? Um, there's also a Settlers of Catan, I wanna call him a bandit or a thief, but it's a fox in this case, only instead of moving the fox when you roll a seven, a seven like you would in Settlers, um, players will be actively moving this thing around, either by choice or via dice roll, to make squirrels scatter. And the nice thing about the fox is the fox actually generates resources depending on where it lands on for the active player. Mm. Uh, and we'll get into that in a minute. So uh, to start up the game, you're going to deal each player three of these objective cards, and you're going to pick two of them to keep. Typically, you want to pick locations that complement each other if you can. Because um, if you do not complete an objective by the end of the game, uh, you get minus two points. Otherwise, you get the point values listed. Each player gets a color, and uh, you get the pieces, and there's squirrels, and there's nests. So you're just going to pick a color and get that. Um, then you just put the resource cards off to the side. This is the compass for the fox. Um, whenever you roll the die to move the fox, you would observe the, the direction that it would travel in. In this case, it would be this way, because the five is down here. Should it ever try to go off the board, it bounces back the way it came like so it's sort of like a wrestler that bounces mm -hmm. off the ropes and comes this way you know what i mean mm -hmm. anyway so you could totally do that um what am i missing oh to set up the game each player like in settlers of Catan, will uh the first player will put a squirrel down in one of the green bordered locations and then the second player will go and do the same thing uh you cannot occupy more than one at a time um and then the second player will get a second turn and then you will get, so it goes one, two, two, one. In a three player game, we go one, two, three, three, two, one. So the last player will get to place their stuff down twice and then in reverse order they go. Whenever you place a squirrel down for setup, kind of like in Ticket to Ride, or um, Settlers of Catan rather, you're going to collect whatever is on the, the forage area. So here's an example of a tile. The left part of a tile says forage 
and you could either collect a green or a yellow resource from here. You're gonna collect two actually when you put a squirrel down for setup. So you're gonna take two resources, either one of each or two of the same one. The uh, icons on the right and those numbers indicate the cost of recruiting a squirrel, but we'll get to that later. So long story short, for setup, we're going to be putting some squirrels down and gaining some resources. So mm -hmm. why don't we do that now, and then we'll talk about turn. Okay. So um, what I'm going to do is, you want to go first or second? I'll go second. Okay. So that means I'll place, and then you place twice, okay. and then I'll place again. So in looking at my cards, um, again, these have to be placed on a green bordered location to start with. Um, so based on, and I'll have to look at this because I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. Okay, let's put one here on the tangle and I can choose purple or green or one of each. So I can take two chestnuts, two acorns or one of each. Just for fun, I'm gonna take one of each. And now it is your turn. You're going to place a squirrel somewhere where I am not and somewhere where the fox is not. The fox always starts in the middle. You said a green border? Yeah, green bordered tile. So, so mouse meadow. Has... Yeah, so any... This heart of the wood is not a green bordered tile. So Pine... you, you can't do... No, the fairy green. ring is not... That's a black bordered tile. So goose glade. So you're going to get two of these uh, pecan resources. Oh, that was, that was stone. <laughs> well, they're all nuts. Oh, yeah. So, it's not settlers. Pe um, pecan. Pecan. You get another one. You get to oh. place a second one. Sure. And then it comes back to me. And I can't place it on the same one, No, right? it has to be a different tile. Okay. Um, and it has to be uh, a green one on a border? Yes, green border tile. Okay. Mouse Meadow. That'll give you two of these acorns. Sure. Okay. And now I will place... What do these cards do again? They allow you to recruit squirrels. We have not gotten to that yet. Oh, sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm teaching her as we go. Probably a bad idea. So. I know. Do I, can I flip these over and look or no? That is the resource. Oh! I thought these were like... <laughs> There's nothing on the reverse side. These are... Like in Settlers of Catan, this is just information. I don't remember Settlers of Catan. Uh, I, okay. I'm sure the viewers do. That's fine. I will put down the orchard here, and I will collect a green and a pecan. So... All right, so now that we've set up the game, um, as the first player, I guess I'll start. And what you're going to do on your turn is mandatory. You must move the fox. So we're going to roll the die. And it's a four. It's going to come down here. If there were squirrels at this location, they would scatter mm. in the directions that the owner wants them to. Uh, so if there was, if you did have a squirrel here... This fox would push that squirrel out of that space. Mm -hmm. You can choose which direction it goes in, but you cannot make it go back the way the fox came. I see. Mm -hmm. And you obviously you can't like put a squirrel where a fox is. Correct. Right? The fox is like, yeah, it's it's kind of like the thief in... Okay, well, that's a bad example <laughs> because you don't, you remember, don't remember. But anyway, yeah, long story short, you cannot have stuff where the fox is. Mm -hmm. However, nests... We didn't get to them yet, okay. but these will never scatter. Okay. So if the fox lands on a nest, they will never scatter. Uh, just a quick tidbit, three squirrels on the same spot immediately turns into a nest. Yes, that's what the back of the turn Correct. order is. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, so we're going to scatter squirrels and then forage for two nuts. So I get to choose two of these resources. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to go, I guess I've already... I'm going to do two walnuts. One, two. Okay. And now I have an optional action. Um, I can recruit a squirrel. And if I recruit a squirrel, I can do that anywhere. I can pick a spot that has a cost associated with it. There are a couple, like the frog pond, that you cannot enter and there is no recruiting. So it is possible for the fox to land here and it will forage for you because it can swim, mm. but um, squirrels themselves, no entry and no recruiting. Oh. So I cannot recruit a squirrel here. But wherever there's a cost, like the heart of the wood, one of each to put uh, a squirrel there. If I, if I go, uh, do two of the green cards, I can put a squirrel from my supply here. Um, that's one of the optional things I can do. Um, instead of recruiting a squirrel, I can hassle the fox. To hassle the fox, I have to have a squirrel that is adjacent to the fox. Okay. And then I can push it in the direction of my choosing. Oh. I get an extra resource wherever it goes. 
And I can also scatter either mine or yours, whatever whatever happens to be there. Mm -hmm. So I can actually make the fox move again, but I am nowhere near this area to do that. So you have to be adjacent for You have to be okay. adjacent. You could because you're adjacent. Mm -hmm. I could also scout an objective. I can look at the top two objective cards and keep up to one. Mm -hmm. So I could draw two of these and just Hopefully I'll get something I could use. If not, I would just discard them and then my turn. Mm -hmm. I am going to recruit a squirrel. And my goal, like I said, is I'm trying to create paths from one tile to another. And a tile or a path must contain at least one nest. So it's not enough to have a, a row of squirrels or a line of squirrels getting to where you need to go. You need to have a nest somewhere in that line as well. Question. Mm-hmm. Does it, is this the cost? That is the cost to and recruit a squirrel. And this is what you get? That's what you get, yes. So should I, this have been one pecan? For, for what? When I landed my squirrel there. That, for two? setup, it's different. Oh, sorry. For setup, you earn two resources of the type shown on these tiles. Ah, uh, okay, sorry. Mm-hmm. Good questions. Again, this is more of a teaching slash learning game. We're introducing the game here. Mm -hmm. um, so now we're going to do an optional thing. I'm going to recruit a squirrel and I'm going to spend, I think, uh, this needs two yellow. Yeah, so I'm going to spend two walnuts mm -hmm. to put a squirrel at that location. And that was my optional action. Mm -hmm. And um, for a free action, I can also trade three of one uh, card type for one nut of it. Okay, so three cards of the same. So if I had, say, three green, I could turn that into one acorn. Mm -hmm. So it's like tr the trading in Settlers of Catan. I'm saying that now for the benefit of, <laughs> for the benefit of those familiar with it. Uh, so it is now your turn. You're going to mandatory roll the die to move the fox. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's a six. It is going to move this way. Okay. And you're going to get two of any type here. Okay. Because there's a... So pick two resources that you want. I'll get uh, an acorn and I will get a walnut. Walnut. All right. So these are it. Is there a hand limit at all? No, not that I know of. Okay. All right. And then uh, I scatter squirrels. No. Because the fox didn't do that. Okay, forage for two nuts. That's what we already just did. Uh, okay, so I choose one of these. Recruit a squirrel. Hassle it. You could hassle it because you are next to it. Yes. You could if you wanted to. When you hassle the fox, you're going to essentially like drag it into the tile that you're in. Like you're going to lure it in there. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought it was pushing it away. Um, let me just quickly look. Okay. It says to hassle the, hassle the fox. Um, the active player pulls the fox onto an adjacent tile in which they have at least one squirrel. So when you're hassling the fox, you're going to pull it in here. And that will then, you can then push. It's a way of pushing your squirrels oh, to other locations cool. that you need to. Okay. But you don't have to. That's just an optional action you can do. Um. You could also recruit if you have enough cards, which you probably do. Um, you could scout for objectives. What is, so I would need four of the same yes. to land there? Yes. Not to land there, to recruit a... To recruit a squirrel? To recruit a squirrel at this location, yes. You would have to hand in four cards of the same type. Or get a squirrel I, over there too. Can I recruit here? Yeah, you can. Anywhere. anywhere. You can pick anywhere on the board. So as long as it doesn't say you can't do it. Yeah. This says Pine Barrens, no recruiting. Frog Pond, no recruiting. Okay. Um, let's, let's go here. I'll spend three. Those are green. You need three chestnuts. Oh, I thought they were acorns. Just look at the color. I know it's difficult to tell, but oh these are chestnuts. Oh my gosh, I would have done a chestnut instead of an The acorn. acorns are up here if you want to do one. That's annoying. All right, it's fine. You can hassle and move it. What you could do is you can hassle the fox, bring him down, and then you can move your guy here. Or Oh, I could do that? Right. Again, you, hassling the fox means you're pulling it to your location. Do I get... Okay, do I get a forage thing you for, do. That, mm -hmm. for that? Mm -hmm. Now, if I recruit a squirrel in there, just, just for, like Where? in case if I had it here, mm -hmm. would I be able to get also that forage thing? No. So I can only get it if the fox moves. Correct. There. Typically, forage happens when the fox moves to that location. You know what? I'll do that. So, 
So what? You're going... I will hassle the fox. Okay. Lure it here so that it can push me away here. Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. And it'll forge one of these pecans for you. Oh, okay, okay. Whenever that's you do is. the, uh, whenever you do the uh, hassle the fox, you scatter squirrels and then you forge for one nut. Okay, so it forges from the tile it's on, not from the squirrel that you. Correct. It forge where, wherever the fox is is where you take from. Okay, I see. Okay. All right, so that was your optional action, and yeah. now it's my turn, I guess, huh? Mm -hmm. So now I've got to roll the die and see where the fox goes. Uh, let's try that again. It is a two, and the fox will go up this way. I'm still nowhere near it to hassle it. Mm -hmm. So um, it will get a green and a yellow. So do I want to do... I've got... I'm going to do two yellows again, I think. Yep. So two yellows, and... I kind of want to re want to recruit again if I can. Um, hmm. This is three acorns, and that's that's nasty. Now three squirrels have to be in the same to put a nest. Correct. So what does a nest do? The nest is just it's worth points at the end of the game, mm -hmm. and you need at least one nest at a location on a path. Uh, you need oh, so in order to score your objectives, you need at least one nest in the path. I see. Okay. So it scores your points. The game ends. When a player gets four of these nests out. I see. Okay. And that'll end the game. Um, okay, so I got my nuts. And now <laughs> recruit a squirrel, hassle, but I can't. Scout an objective. Um, based on the cards that I have, um, I kind of want to do that. But that's going to be kind of tough. I think I'm going to... Um, yeah, I think I'm going to recruit another squirrel. So I'm going to spend two of these walnuts to recruit another one up here. Oh, very nice. Okay, and that was it. I recruited my squirrel for my optional. Okay. So now it's your turn. You're gonna roll the die, see where the fox goes, get some forage. Three. Three brings you here. Okay. So now you're gonna scatter this squirrel somewhere, okay. except you cannot go back the oh. way the fox came. Okay, so. So it's either gonna be here, here, or here. I'll go here. Okay. So you're going to go there. Now that it, the fox is here, you're going to forage two of these acorns. Acorn. Okay. Sure. And now you can take one optional action. I'm going to turn in four acorns. Woo. No, wait. Is that what it means? Four of the same is what it said. Four yeah. acorns to build a giant toadstool. Or to put to, a squirrel on a giant toadstool. Okay, to build it. <laughs> to build it, yes. It's all it costs. You're going to spend <laughs> acorns to build a toadstool. Yes. All right, is that it? Yeah. All right. I am going to roll the die, move the fox uh, to four, so it goes down, but then it bounces back up here. Oh, so it doesn't just land on the same spot? No, it, it, actually, it, it actually goes in the opposite up. direction. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Like it, it was propelled by an mm -hmm. invisible shield of some kind. I see. Um, and then I get to take some resources from here. Um, yellow and blue. Yellow or, right? Y yellow and or blue, or one of each. Um, I'm going to take a yellow... And another yellow. Wait, I thought that was a, a slash, an or. Yes, but you can take, when you take two resources, you can take two of this one, two of this one, or one of each. Oh, I thought it was either take a blue or a yellow. No, remember, look at your look at your structure. Forage for two nuts. When you have the oh, choice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been okay, doing okay, this the okay. entire I'm time sorry. for the record. I'm so sorry. You've been taking two, don't okay, worry. Okay, all right. <laughs> I get confused with the symbology there. I agree. <laughs> That's giving you a choice of taking one type or another type, but you're always going to take two when the fox lands on its movement. Okay, so if it lands here, you get two acorns. Two acorns, yes. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. This doesn't give you a choice. You must take two acorns. This gives you a choice. Take two blue, take yeah. two yellow, or one of each. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Other questions? No. No. <laughs> Okay, fine. she's gonna win. By the way, no, I'm she not always winning. does this. She asks a bunch of questions <laughs> to get me off my game, and then she <laughs> and then she wins. That's, That's what she does. No, it's true. It is. No. Um, recruit a squirrel. I kind of want to do. Yeah, I am going to do two walnuts again mm -hmm. to create my third squirrel Whoa. here, and nice. that immediately turns into a nest. Very nice. All right, and these squirrels go away. Okay, and it's it. It's your turn. So now you're going to. Roll the die for the fox. See where it goes. Okay. 
to two. two. It is so going it's this two. way to Pine Barrens. Okay. All right, and now you can get two, two of four. any resource. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do uh, a, 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 a pecan. <laughs> yes. And a. Uh, a, uh, ch a yes. uh, chestnut, sorry. The green. Yes. Just say the colors if, you, if it's easier sorry. for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, yeah. They look so the same. It's ridiculous. Yes. Okay. Uh, so you get an optional action. Okay. I'm going to recruit a squirrel in giant toadstool by giving away Ooh, all my... Oh my. Items. Okay. So you're really getting a nest in there. I'm trying. Mm -hmm. All right. So that means a squirrel goes here. Yes. All right, my turn. I'm going to roll for the fox. It is a four. It comes down here. It hasn't really messed with me. That's kind of nice. But then again, I'm all the way at the top. Um, I get to take either two blue, two acorns, or a combination of each. I think I'm going to take a combination of each. And uh, what am I going to do? I need to get stuff done. Um... Based on the cards that I have, um, mm, 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 not helpful. When you recruit, you can go on any. Any. You pick any spot. Interesting. I'm going to take two chestnuts, mm -hmm. put, turn them in, and I will put a squirrel here. Okay. And that is my turn. Okay. Uh, dice. Mm hmm. That's a five. Five, and that goes this way. Okay. You are close enough to hassle it. I am going to hassle it. All right, now keep in mind that will push you off fairy ring. Yes, so that, and then I go here. Yep, and now you can take one. Uh, well, first, oh, uh, did you get the, did, first of all, you, oh, that's right, yes. Yeah, so it's going to, it's going to take, um. Well, it moved. It right? moved, yeah. So where was it before, here? Yeah, it was right here. So you should have gotten two acorns. Sorry, two acorns. Before you hassle it, you get your resources. Oh, I see. And then the optional action. Optional action, I you're going to hassle it. I'm going to hassle. And now you get one of any resource per this. I year. see, okay. I'm going to do um, another acorn. Mm, you're really pushing that toadstool. <laughs> okay. Um. That's it? Yeah. Unless you want to turn three cards in for one particular resource. No. That's, that's a... Yeah, that's all I can do. Huh? All right. Let's see. It's a two. It comes back up this way. Mm -hmm. And I get two acorns. <laughs> one, two. I've got a lot of acorns here. I'm going to turn in three of them mm -hmm. as an option, uh, optional action to put a squirrel on Hickory Hot. Very nice. And my turn is over. Um, okay. Dice. Two? Two. So that goes up here? To Briar Run again. Mm -hmm. You get two of whatever. Ugh. It's either acorn or pecan. Yeah. I'll get, um... I'll get a two acorns. Two acorns. One, two. Okay. And now... I'm going to recruit a squirrel using four. Okay. And turn that, all three squirrels into, into a nest. nest. Okay. Fair, fair enough. Mm -hmm. All right. Die is being rolled for the fox. It's a two. It's going to boop, boop, boop. <laughs> All right. So it's back to Mouse two Meadow. Two acorns. So yeah, two acorns for me. One, two. And I am... Mm -hmm. At this point, um, I think I am going to turn in three acorns for another squirrel up here in Hickory Hot. And that ends my Ooh, turn. Oh, very nice. Guy? Mm-hmm. Four. That's a four. Mm -hmm. And that'll That's bounce. And, and go, go up to, to Birch Grove. Mm -hmm. All right, I will get... Um, You're going to get a blue, a yellow. Two blues, two yellows, or a combination of both. Two yellows. Mm -hmm. Okay. And... I will... Turn these three in okay. to build a squirrel on Muckville Marsh. All right. Fair enough. Uh, dice is a one. It goes straight up, and it's going to push me out of there. I'm going to push to the heart of the wood. Nice. And I'm going to gain two green resources. 
and I get an optional action. Do I want to um, push, do I want to lure it up to where I am? I'm not exactly thrilled about that idea, but um, I don't think I have much choice because I need more resources. Um, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, pull the fox here. And I'm going to push myself over here to Willow Wallow. Mm -hmm. And I do get one of these two resources. I think I'm going to take a... Um, I don't have any acorns, so I'm tempted to take an acorn. Um, what would three green give me? Anything? Not really. All right, yeah, I'll just take an acorn because I don't have them. Mm -hmm. And that's all, my, that's all I can do. And the fox is going to move to, boing, here, and it pushes me out. Um, I cannot go back the way I came, so I will push myself over to the orchard, I guess. Okay. And you get two resources. Of any kind? Of any kind, yeah. Okay, I will get two chestnuts. Two chestnuts. One, two, and you get an optional action. I will recruit... I'll use all my chestnuts to recruit here. Oof. All right. So you're getting a hang of this. It's gone by quick now, now that you know what you're oh, doing. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Four. It's going to go down. Okay. And I'm going to get uh, acorns or yellow. Um, let's go with... Um, or one of each. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go with acorn and... Yeah, one of each, essentially. Nice. And... Or... You know what? I'm going to take two acorns. Because for my action, I'm going to turn these three in mm -hmm. to get uh, a third squirrel here, and that turns into a nest. Very nice. Okay. And it is your turn. Okay. Die. <laughs> we need two dice. Yeah. <laughs> Six. Six. That it goes, goes to ooh, frog, pond. frog pond. It forages for anything. Two of anything. Interesting. Yep. Let's go with a... Mm. Let's go with a acorn and a chestnut. Acorn and a chestnut. Yeah. Do you want to learn about endgame scoring now that you know what you're doing? Sure. Okay. So you're going to earn two points for every nest that you have. And again, the game ends when mm -hmm. someone gets four of those. Yeah. You're also going to score your objective cards. If you've successfully completed your objectives, you'll get the points listed. If you do not, you get minus two points for each one. Okay. Uh, another thing is, you're going to draw a line between your locations. So let's say that my two locations were here. Mm -hmm. For that, let's say one of my objectives was here to here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to count the shortest path, not the path I took. Let's say I had a path going all the way around. With a full of nests? N well, regardless of what it is. Let's just say I had a successful path with at least one nest. Okay. So I had a squirrel, 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 nest, oh, okay. squirrel. Just Let's just assume that I completed that. Okay. But I went the long way around. Mm -hmm. When I, I get bonus points based on the distance. I see. But between the two closest points. Not the path I took, but I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Even though I didn't go this way... I count one, two, three, and I get three bonus points because of the distance between them. That's weird. If, if your two locations are next to each other, you don't score anything because there's no tiles in between. Oh, if your two <laughs> locations are here uh, and you go all the way around and connect them this way for whatever reason, still you're still awesome. only going to score one bonus point for that one in between. Oh. So that's just a bonus. Yeah. All okay? right. Just letting you know. But that's it. Okay. Oh. Back to the game. Did you complete your turn? I think you did. Um, no, I rolled a six and he moved here. Oh, okay. And, and you got your resources. And I did not get my resources Optional? Yet. Oh, you didn't get... I thought you took two... Did I? Oh, yeah, yeah. You I took two I acorns. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. No, no. I took a chestnut and an acorn. Okay. I'm going to... Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I use my free action before the optional action? Or yes. do I have to use the you optional You can use it at any first? time. Yeah, you can use it. I will trade these in for a... Uh, ch uh, Yellow. Walnut. Walnut, yes. And then uh, for the optional action, I'll recruit a squirrel and put it here. Okay. Because it costs one. Very good. Sounds good. Sure. <laughs> one. 
It goes straight up. Ooh. Woo. Okay. Well, I got to find a places for these guys. One, I guess I'll move them both over here. Nice. And I get green and blues. Uh, well, I already have a lot of those, but I have a feeling I'm going to need a blue. Mm -hmm. And where are there three greens somewhere? I don't see. Three greens are like down here. Hmm. I'll take another... I'll take another blue, because who knows when that's going to happen again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I get an optional action. I am going to... Hmm, I could lure the fox into Heart of the Wood and get a resource of my choice. Um, don't know if I want to do that. I can recruit a squirrel with blues and greens. Um, I could spend two greens and get something over here at the rabbit patch. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to spend two chestnuts to get a squirrel here to the rabbit patch. Nice. All right. It is um, your turn. So you're going to roll the die. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Destroy two. my squirrels. Sorry. It's a three. So the fox <laughs> comes down here and splits me up again. Okay. I am going to go one and two. Okay. And sort of do that. And you're going to get two of these resources, whatever they are. All right. Let's do a chestnut and a walnut. Chestnut and a walnut. And I will turn both of those in to build a squirrel here, which okay. in turn builds a nest. There you go. Okay. And then... That was go. quick. Five. It goes down this way, and I get mm -hmm. to take two resources of my choice. Mm -hmm. um, I think I want... Uh, I want a green... And I want something I preferably don't have. Um, it's tough. It really is tough. Um, I guess an acorn. Yeah, I'll take an acorn. And then I'm going to spend um, a green and a blue mm -hmm. to recruit a squirrel there. Cool. And it is your turn. Three. Three. Uh, it goes way. down this way. You get to take two yellow, two pink, or one of each. I was really hoping that he would actually go here so mm. I can scatter it here and build a nest. Yes, you could. You could totally do that. Dang. You can you can chain scatter. Oh, that would have been great. All right. I will get uh, two yellows. That's fine. Um, the optional... Action. I can't really do much. Um, you can't lure it because these are nests and not squirrels. Yeah. Uh, you can recruit if you have enough for it. I you don't, don't have I, to do an optional action. I can't. There's nothing that... Oh, I could You could put there. something up here if you wanted. I'll do an objective. All right. So you're going to draw two. Yeah. And you're going to keep zero or one. Zero or one? Yeah. Meaning don't keep anything or keep one of the two cards. Okay. Tough decisions, huh? Ooh, okay. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> this is going to take a while, isn't it? Nah. <laughs> okay, if you say so. <laughs> okay. The, the thing is, is that even if I got another one, that that means that there would be two nests, two nests. So one of them is going to actually like be... You can, I, I, but if you create... Let's say that you've got a card going here to here mm -hmm. and a card going here to here. You can use the same path like in Ticket to Ride to complete both objectives and you have one nest on... So one nest can satisfy two different paths as long as they both reach the same locations <laughs> true all right i'll just do um i'll just do that one you're going to save that one and discard this one sure. all right i am going to roll the die for the fox see where he goes it's a one straight up in the heart of the wood i get two resources um i am going to take two green 
and I'm going to spend those immediately because I don't like where this is going, uh, to recruit a squirrel here to turn mm. that into a nest. Very nice. Okay. And it is your turn. Okay. Five. Five. So it goes to Frog Pond. It does go to Frog Pond. You get two resources. Okay. Let's get um, a chestnut and a walnut. And what is my stuff again? Oh, yeah. Okay. I will turn in a all three walnuts for a squirrel here. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Going for that nest. <laughs> all right. Here we go. To three. Uh, threes go two. to the crag. And I will take a uh, mm, a yellow. And I kind of want to take another acorn. Uh, what would I do? I guess I'll take an acorn. And I can't lure it. So... What would I recruit and where would I recruit it? Um, oof. Can I do anything with these? Acorns and pecans. I mean, I could create something down there for who knows what reason. Three of the same. Two for Goose's Glade. Not sure why you know what i'll i'm gonna draw two objective cards mm -hmm. and see what i get out of it um let's see fudge <laughs> i am going to keep this one and there's that okay probably a bad choice on my part but so it goes okay. three. three it goes this way and you get that was the worst possible. <laughs> I was like that calculating bad, huh? it. I was like, okay, every single one is great. Just don't go to the bottom right. Okay. Uh huh. Um, uh -huh. Let's get two walnuts. Walnuts, you say? Yes. There you go. Um, I will scout for an objective since I can't do anything else. All right. So you get to keep zero or one. That bad, huh? Mm. Uh, okay. I'll keep... Okay, I'll keep this one. Happy with it? Yeah. All right. Um, I am going to roll the die for the fox. It is a six. It comes back up to the crag, because of course it would. <laughs> and I am going to take an acorn and a walnut. And... I have... This is awful. This really is. I'm going to spend two cards to create a oh, squirrel there. There you go. Birch Grove. All right. Oh, you. Okay. It is a six. It comes up to Frog Pond. You can take two resources of your choice. Oh, we will get... This fox is incredibly annoying. Yes, he is. I will get um, a walnut and a chestnut. A walnut and a chestnut. Okay. And I will spend three walnuts to build the nest here. All right. And that gives you your third nest? Yep. Okay. It's a six. It will come up here, but nests do not scatter. I get two acorns. One, two... Um, I'm going to turn in, hmm, I could lure it into the orchard and take another resource. That could be useful. Yeah, I am, I'm going to do that. I'm going to lure the fox into the orchard, and I will move this one here, and I will gain one of these resources. I will take a green one, and that ends my turn. I completely miscalculated something. All you need is more squirrels. If it's still, you've still got time. Four down. 
four. Back to Frog Pond. It loves Frog Pond. I'll get two chestnuts. It's, it's hot outside. Two chestnuts, you say. <laughs> I'll turn three to build my final nest. I'll re yeah, I'll recruit three Ooh. to get a squirrel here, which in turn builds my fourth nest. Okay. Uh, let's see when the game... When any player places their fourth nest, resolve any mandatory actions and immediately end the game. Do not finish a round. Ooh. So that's it. I don't get to do anything else. Uh, and because of that, I think you won the game. Because mm -hmm. you you ended... I did not see this down here. You totally... Uh, I, I now have none of my objectives filled. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's fine. It, it's my fault. I, I had... Um, so I had two, four, six and uh, points but willow i had willow wallow to hickory haunt and i was trying to complete stuff mm -hmm. to get there but i can't the fox kept getting over here and oh. i couldn't i couldn't keep anything um actually willow wallow to heart of the wood is five points for me because i do have a path oh so you don't need nests there no, I said at least one nest in the pan. <laughs> I was doing all nests. No, I said okay. squirrels and nests. I, yeah, I got confused. That's fine. I see. <laughs> so, and you still win, probably. Nah. So I had two, four, six, um, five is 11. I get a bonus of one point because of mm -hmm. the one tile in between. So that's 12 points. But Willow Wallow to Hickory Haunt is minus two, and Frolic field to the crag is minus two mm -hmm. so i think that's what eight points or something like that mm -hmm. what did you get i got markville muckville marsh to the giant toadstool so so you got two yeah. four six eight and as long as you complete one objective you're 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 good so that's what 13 mm -hmm. and then this one this one here dreamers dell yeah. to maple way oh so it's another four points yeah, yeah. And then these did not count. Okay. But it was Muckville Marsh to the Crag. Okay. And then Frolic Field to Maple Way. I keep thinking that you had to build nests to make the paths, but I guess that wasn't the case. No, I I, I vaguely remember saying I'm you sorry. need to create a path of squirrels and at least one nest. Um, yes, okay. In that path. It's just I was so hard up on like, okay, <laughs> gotta take gotta build nests, like railroad tracks. <laughs> <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. So anyway, you won the game, as I said you would. Remember? No. Didn't I? Didn't I say no. this? Did I not say this? I would have done. I would have gotten a lot of points had I gotten a squirrel here. Yeah. That's all. I'm I was surprised hoping you didn't trade them in. Use the free action. I couldn't. I didn't have enough time. This guy was here. Mm -hmm. I had. I had to. I had. In order for me to place here, I have to get him out of the way. Oh. If I had one more turn, I could have. Yeah. But it ends the game immediately, which I don't like. But mm. anyway, so did you care for this game? Did you like it, not like it? It was okay. I mm. mean... It was okay. Yeah. I, I don't like the RNG of the... Of the fox. Well, that and... I mean, that's one of the issues I had with Settlers. Mm -hmm. Was when you roll that seven, you can put it anywhere and, and mess up people for the rest of the game. But with this, it's like... If, if the fox is constantly in your territory and it's in the way of your paths, what are you supposed to do? Yeah, I would say like probably even build squirrels or try and build squirrels even to like a path adjacent to the fox. Because if it moves onto your thing, Correct. you can just scatter. But the problem is with this one is I need one of each resource to even put one there in the first place. And you cannot build multiple squirrels on your turn. You can only build one yeah. squirrel. Unless you built a squirrel but here. The problem then... was, it was in my face <laughs> the entire last third of the game. And I needed squirrels here. I know. And I couldn't do it. The RNG was awful. Yeah. Um, I, I like what it tries to do. I like the art. Um, I like the overall theme. There is a two-player variant where um, you can actually remove squirrels from your opponent mm -hmm. on the board. It makes it, it's a more aggressive take that kind oh. of game. And I'm not interested in a take that mm -hmm. kind of game. I, I wanted to make this more friendly. Mm -hmm. um, I would love to play the solo and see how it would fare. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, there's instructions for that in the rule book. I'm not going to cover that here. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I, it's okay. Mm -hmm. um, this is not a game. This, this game frustrated me a little bit because I couldn't yeah. do what I wanted to do despite my best efforts. Like the fox was just... 
a pain in the butt. It was hard because... One of the things I wanted, I was thinking about doing mm -hmm. was actually getting squirrels down here to lure it this way, mm -hmm. to get out of my face. But by the time I worked on doing that, you had gone... Like, you rushed the end game, I and that was it. I'm sorry. No, was there a reason why you rushed the end game? Were you trying to... I was to... scared of you, honestly. What are you scared <laughs> you were, of me? You, look at all those resources you had. So I was, like, thinking to myself, I need to start building nests and really, like... Because he'll just... Snow There's a snowball effect there, I think. Because you can tr trade three of one nut and build where wherever you want. So I was like really scared of that. You had so many resources. Yeah, but I wouldn't have been able to end the game for another two turns at least. Unless if you built like squirrels and then if he moved, you can just scatter your squirrels into one spot. And yeah, but the path forever. I needed was like here. Yeah. And it was constantly interrupting I that didn't, path. I didn't know what path you had because mine were all right next to each other. So mm. I thought yours was two kind of. Kind of. Mm -hmm. So I had like what eight and you had like. 15, 16, whatever it was. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Um, yeah, I don't know if I would play this again. Um, it's okay. Like you said, there is an, a solo mode that you can play. Mm -hmm. um, would you play this again? It's a sweaty game for sure. Um, I probably wouldn't just because I really hate this. <laughs> I, I don't like that it says forage. And that's it. I wish it had like actual numbers next to it, kind of like this. The problem <laughs> is, is that whenever you move the fox, you only get one. Yeah. If, if you lure the fox, you, you get, get one. one. But if on the dice roll, you get two. Yeah, that... So I, you can't... You'd have to put like... That messes a, my brain A up. two for fox... Like a, a picture of a fox with a two, and then maybe like a lore symbol or whatever for one. <laughs> if you really wanted to get icon heavy. You yeah. know what I mean? But I could see that you were confused like the first half of the game. You still won. It's confused. <laughs> That's why I rushed it because I didn't understand anything. Wow, thanks. <laughs> I appreciate that no. testament to my teaching. No, that's not it at all. No, no, that's great. I love it. Listen, my brain is the size of this, okay? Oh, come on. <laughs> of an acorn. Oh, wow, wow, <laughs> wow. No, it was okay. I Would I play it again? I don't think I would, not anytime soon, honestly. No, this is not a game I would rush again mm -hmm. to put on my table. Yeah. Not, I mean, it's not that the game is bad per se, but I've got hundreds of other games that do yeah. better than this, mm -hmm. in my opinion. The whole path thing was actually kind of cool, but... Ticket um, to Ride. Ticket ride. T ticket to Ride, I think, did it better. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like the developer was like, hmm, let's take... I like Settlers, I like Ticket to Ride. Let's take all these things and match them together into one game. Um, and and they're still... I like it. It's it, it works well. It's just it's too RNG heavy for me with the dice rolling to me. I like more abstract games that uh, I can I can think more, and if I lose, it's my fault. Mm -hmm. Whereas with a game like this, maybe I could have done something different. Like again, maybe maybe lure the fox away by building elsewhere. Mm -hmm. um, that, that's probably one thing I probably should have done, but didn't. But as first timers to the game, I didn't think about yeah. it until like late game. It seems like it, it's it could be frustrating being in your shoes, and I understand. It's frustrating, frustrating when the, someone ends the game immediately and you can't do anything. And ticket to ride, everyone else gets one more turn. I mm -hmm. hate the fact that the game ends immediately yeah. in this. Like in ticket to ride, I think that every player gets one final chance to play what they want to play to do their thing. Yeah. That that is that is the thing that irks me the most. Mm -hmm. I had everything planned to get what I needed to do. I just needed one more turn, and, and, I, started, and I didn't get it. You started first. I did start right. first, but what if I had started second? Yeah, that was yeah. You know what I mean. I so I don't like that balance, to be honest with you. But mm -hmm. anyway, uh, that was Nut Hunt. I appreciate the developers sending this out. Mm -hmm. um, that was uh, Nut Hunt. If you guys haven't already subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. This is Vincent Ida Lee. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you all next time. Bye, guys.